Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, today we are going to do a stunning, simple rabbit dish, rabbit arribiata. I mean, it couldn't be easier and it's absolutely brilliant. So, basically, arribiata, Italian, arribiata, it means angry and that comes from the chili element. Now, you can, if you want to, just put chilies in, but I've just got this beautiful. Italian Arribiata seasoning, which is gorgeous. If you can see in there, just look at the chilies. Saves a lot of the hassle, just a decent teaspoon at the end. If not, just chop some chilies, get it in there. Couldn't be easier. What else have we got then? Some decent tomatoes, gotta to be good quality tomatoes. Two tins of, a couple of onions. We're gonna use a couple of cloves of garlic. And I've got 400 ml of chicken stock. And of course, the star of the show beautiful great british game at its best wild rabbits now what we need to do then is break these rabbits down you can do it in as many pieces you want but when i made this i did it in that 18 pieces i don't know if you've seen that video 18 pieces of rabbit it's just perfect for this you know stewed down on the bone stays tender juicy flavorful it is absolutely brilliant so quickly then I'm just gonna bust these bad boys into 18 pieces. We'll get over to the stove and get rocking. Let's do it. Okay then, we wanna bust these two down into 18 pieces. I'm just gonna use the one rabbit. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I will put it in the description a great way. So very quickly then, very, very quickly, I am gonna break these down. So we've got our 18 pieces of rabbit, but just while I've got one to hand and I can show you, if you look on the back of this rabbit, if you can see in there, these lovely, lovely looking green blobs, these are the scent gland or the musk glands. Now these you must get rid of when you're doing a rabbit. Now how many people have had a rabbit for the first time and they go, oh my God, it was disgusting. It filled the kitchen up with a terrible smell and it permeated through the house, all through the dish, that is the culprit. So when you get a rabbit, just check the back end. If you can see those two almost kidney looking things, get rid of them because they do stink and it will ruin the dish. Right, here endeth the sermon, let's get on. So, you want a bag, a small bag, not like this survival bag here, normal drill, just a little bit of flour. Then we need some seasoning, get our pepper in, and some nice sea salt, get that in. Give it a nice coating, this will allow it to brown nicely, and also thicken the sauce. So give it a little jiggery pokery, get the rabbit in. Just check I ain't got no funk on there. Now you saw me break that down with a knife, now, if you've got a very, very sharp knife, trust me, you won't get no splinters. No splinters whatsoever, straight through, if you use a good, firm action. Said the bishop to the actress, you will not have a problem. So, very simple. We have our lovely coated pieces of bunnykins ready to go. Right. Let's get over the stove and do it. Okay then, first job, get some heat under that pan. I'm loving this new pan, loving it. Gonna get some oil in. Now I'm using cold pressed rapeseed oil, English. It is absolutely fantastic stuff. Now a little tip, you can get some of that elitist rapeseed oil. It's about five or six quid a bottle. 
you know, really, where you could go to Aldi or Lidl. This is 150 a bottle, and it's actually won awards, you know. Three, four times cheaper than the, you know, branded ones, and it's just absolutely awesome. Anyway, rant over. So, I'm just going to get some heat under that. There's Bunnykins looking a tip top. So, in the meantime, I am going to just dice my onions. Now, this is a rustic dish. Ain't going to go too mad, so just slice it. If it's thick, it's thick. If it's thin, it's thin. Don't lose any sleep over it, baby. Taking your time. None of that fancy chopping stuff for Scotty today. Now, before any of you food nasses, nasses, nasses say, you dirty boy, you haven't wiped your board. Because you do. You do. You go, ooh, he's just had meat on there and he ain't wiped it. I'm telling you, my friends, I have. So chill. Okay? So, on the arm. Clove of garlic, again, not going to go mad. I'm just going to split it that way, and I don't care. Get a proper knife. Just quickly chop through the garlic. Again, not too fussy. See if you have some nice big chunks. It's cool, baby. It's cool. It's cool in the pool. It's cool and the gang. So, my oil is smoking. You know the drill here. Not too many pieces at once. Get it in the oil. We want a nice coloration. So... Round in almost a clock fashion, about half at a time. And then we'll turn them when needed. I'll just rock that other clove of garlic. Now the beauty of this is it is a one pot wonder. Once you've got this color on this, get the color on your onions, get your tomato, get your stock in, your lid on, that's it. Job done. Job is a good one. Making sure though we get a good caramelisation on this meat. Beautiful. Now that is what I'm talking about. A decent colour. So just finish these off. I will get the next batch in. Do the same. Again, that is what we're looking for. Lovely colour on these. Beautiful. Let's get these out. And then we'll take a little bit of the heat out of that pan and we'll get our onion in. <laughs> we'll take a bit of heat out of the pan and get our onions in. Put your teeth in, boy. Beautiful chunks there. I'm really liking this 18 piece on the bone, you know. Curries, stews, I think it's brilliant. That bone, as we all know, always helps. So I'm going to add another dash of bottled sunshine. And then we will, like I said, nice and rustic, get our onions in. Just like that. Just ah, Onions, bowl, bowl, onions. So my onions are where they want to be, as you can see they've just gone nice and soft, a slight tinge in with our garlic cloves, just for a minute, we don't want to burn that garlic and make it bitter, so let that get to know each other. Okay then, we will reintroduce Bunnykins and all its resting juices. I've just turned the heat back up that now, as you can hear, sizzling away. Next, we want to add decent tomatoes, give them a shake. And in. Look at that colour. Beautiful. Then in with our chicken stock, I'm just going to swill any of the juices that are left in that bowl in. And then we want to fill it up till it's just 
covering. If you need to add a spot more, add a spot more. If you don't, then don't. So I want that to come up to the boil then. We won't season it just yet. We, we won't add that Arribiata seasoning. I just want to get it on its way. So we'll bring that up to the boil. Then we want to turn it down so it's just blipping, blip blopping. I suppose that's a technical term on the surface. I said a blip, blah, the blippy, the blippy to the blip, blip, blop. You don't stop the rock. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So into that then we are going to add, I suppose, just a teaspoon of that Arribiata mix. Like I said, means angry. And you will be angry if you put too much chilli in this bad boy. So again, just let that get to know each other. Then we will put a lid on it and just let it do its thing. The longer you leave it, the better. It's a stunning dish the day after, but you take it two days after, and I tell you what, it'll rock your world. Okay then, that's just ticking over nicely. I'm gonna put a lid on it. Now what I like about this pan is that will sit direct on the lip of the pan, or you put it there, it's genius. You've got just enough space to let the air out. Why didn't I think of that? Right, like I said, we wanna leave that for a couple of hours then. Just check it after two hours, if it's nice and tender, you know the drill. Get it down your Gregory Peck. Okay then, so after two hours or whatever, till it's tender simmering on the hob, it starts to look like that. Look at the thickness of that sauce. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, what we need to do then, dish some of this up. You can use mashed potato, pasta. I'm going down the pasta route and do you know what? I've already tried the sauce, it's awesome. I cannot wait to get this down my neck. Right, let's dish it up. Fancy bowl. Tagliatelle. I cannot wait for this. Let's give it one of them, eh? Oh, look at that. Eh? Almost professional. As if by magic, the beautiful Arribiata. If I can get some chunks on there. Mm. If you can, try and get a bit of each piece, a bit of the loin, a bit of the leg, a bit of the shoulder. I'll take one of those little hocks, I suppose. Where do we put it on there? And then spoon some of that wonderful, and it really is wonderful, sauce over it. Turning a simple, simple dish into something really nice and then just finish it with a flourish, I suppose, of parsley. And there you have it. Rabbit Arribiata. Doesn't look too shabby if I may say so myself. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of that beautiful extra virgin cold pressed rapeseed oil, better for you than olive oil. And then next, I'm going in. Oh, look at this meat here. Just look at it. Oh, bit of that pasta. A bit of that super, super sauce. Look at that. Mm. So, so nice. I absolutely love this dish. It's absolutely superb. Oh, look at that. Now, those of you that have been with me a long time, you know I absolutely love that Le Pan a la Moutarde, which is rabbit with mustard and cream. But I'll tell you what, 
this is slowly overtaking it. I absolutely love it. Mm. That tiny little hock. A little perfect morsel. Mm. Well, my dear friends, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. And if you did, please click subscribe when my beautiful looking face comes down here in this corner. Also, be sure to find me on my social media. Get on my Facebook. I have two pages, Scott Reed and the Scott Reed Project. Get on there and click like or follow because on the one page, I'm up to my limit of friends, but there's people still want to come on board. So go on there, click follow. Awesome. Also on my Twitter at the Scott Reed Project. And if you like what I'm doing and you'd like to share the love to help the project along a bit, please do check out my Patreon page. But until next time, you really, really have got to give this a go. And I must say that every video. And it's boring even for me. But I'll tell you what, rabbit never tastes so good. And there'll be an announcement coming very soon. I have my first cookbook out in July. But more about that at a later date. Hmm. Managed to finally find that little shoulder look. Look at it. Mmm. Oh. All the best, my friends. Take care. Go on, have a little bit. Mmm.